Today, let us study the biblical prophecy about God the Mother in Isaiah chapter 60 so that we can understand the will of God. According to verse 1, it says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. Darkness covers the whole earth and all the peoples, so there is no light on this earth, meaning the light of the truth. Since they are not enlightened, they are unable to discern the truth from falsehood. Therefore, they are in a state of chaos. Let's continue to read verse 2. It says, See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and His glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. In this verse, there is a very important matter that needs to be paid attention to. Darkness covers the entire earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. Then suddenly, a streak of light shines. Here in this verse, you indicates Jerusalem. What this means is that nations will come to the light of Jerusalem and kings to the brightness of Jerusalem's dawn. When God appeared on this earth, He said He came as the light to the world. However, the light that pushes the darkness, which covers the whole earth, is the light of Jerusalem. Thus, without a doubt, the Jerusalem spoken of here clearly represents God our Mother. Doesn't Galatians chapter 4, verse 26 explain that the Jerusalem that is above is free, and she is who? Our Mother. Let's keep reading verse 4. It reads, Lift up your eyes and look about you. All assemble and come to you. To whom? They all come to Jerusalem. Lift up your eyes and look about you. All assemble and come to you. Your sons come from where? Afar. They are going to come from countries far away. Also it says, And your daughters are carried on the arm. Then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will throb and swell with joy. Everyone, if there was no light of the glory of Jerusalem shining on us, this earth would be in a state of darkness forever. However, what does the bright light of Jerusalem do to the dark future? It pushes the darkness away. All nations and peoples will come to the light when it shines on them. Moreover, all the kings will see the light and come to her brightness. When you see verse 8, it says, Who are these that fly along like clouds, like doves to their nests? Surely the islands look to me. In the lead are the ships of Tarshish, bringing your sons from afar, with their silver and gold, to the honor of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for He has endowed you with splendor. Who are these that fly along like doves to their nest? What do they see that is now causing them to come flying? It says that they see the light of Jerusalem, so they all come flying to the light. Let's go to verse 12. It says, For the nation or kingdom that will not serve you will perish. If Jerusalem here were to indicate a building, a structure standing on the ground, do you think God would ask us to serve a building? If it is someone's suggestion or personal opinion, we can simply ignore it. However, isn't this a teaching coming from God? Verse 13, it says, The glory of Lebanon will come to you, the pine, the fir, and the cypress together, to adorn the place of my sanctuary, and I will glorify the place of my feet. The sons of your oppressors will come bowing before you. All who despise you will bow down at your feet. Here, 
where it speaks of the sons of your oppressors, it must be implying that there must be those who oppress Jerusalem, right? There are those who persecute Jerusalem heavily mother, and people who make all kinds of slandering remarks. These words, the sons of your oppressors, contain all kinds of situations that are happening related to these matters. However, even in the midst of these situations, the Bible states that all nations and children would come to her light. When we read this kind of passage in the Bible, we can see a prophecy that Jerusalem Heavenly Mother would endure all kinds of pain and persecution, ridicule and slanderous remarks from oppressors on this earth in order to lead her children to the way of salvation. The more that we preach the words of truth, more and more nations come to see the glory of Jerusalem. They return into the arms of Jerusalem, our Heavenly Mother. Today, we give thanks, glory and honor once again to Heavenly Father and Mother, who lead us to receive this precious truth and salvation and become the protagonists of this prophecy. Thank you very much.